The question I get asked the most about my round the world trip was how much did the whole thing cost? So in 2013, me and my mate James, we quit our jobs, and went backpacking around the world for nine months. We started in Hong Kong and went through 20 different countries in four continents and finished in New York. So the whole trip cost us £22,000 each in total. That's around $33,000. And obviously this isn't money we just had lying around in our back pockets. We spent over three years saving up for this trip. Now the original budget for the trip was £18,000, which meant we went four grand over budget. And I'll get into more of that later, but let's first of all break down the 18 grand. Now our flights, the round the world ticket, we booked it through STA Travel, and that cost us £3,200. Now bear in mind we had one of the higher end round the world tickets because we did so many stops in five different continents. But if you look at STA's website, they got lots of round the world tickets around the one and two grand mark. On top of that, we spent another £250 on internal flights that weren't included in our round the world ticket. Now some of the other things we paid for before we left were the packages and passes that we did. So we had the Way Out Back tour in Australia, the Greyhound Pass down the east coast in Australia. For New Zealand we did the Kiwi Experience bus, we did the Funky Chicken Pass and one thing to note with the Kiwi Experience is keep an eye on their website because they often have up to 55% off on their passes. And then in Peru we were with G Adventures travelling on the Inca Trail and into the Amazon jungle. Now all of these packages you can book direct through the companies, but we did it all through STA, which meant we had around the world tickets and all of these packages on one giant ticket. And the last leg of our trip was driving from LA to New York, so we had car rental for seven weeks and petrol on top of that. Now one of the things that can help you budget for a trip is by doing a little bit of research about what there is to do in the places that you're going. So in Australia we knew we were going to do the Whit Sundays from Fraser Island, and in New Zealand there's so much to do in New Zealand, but all those activities add up. So we ended up spending a grand on all the different things that we did there. And that's on top of the regular spending money that we had as well. Now one of the other things people always forget to budget for are visas and vaccinations because they're boring, but we spent about £300 each on all of those. And the final thing to say before, of course, is you're spending money whilst you're away. Now the general rule of thumb that I go by is to try and have a grand for each month you're away for. But really, and I know it sounds like I'm stating the obvious, but your spending money just depends on where you're going, how long for, and what you're going to do whilst you're there. And that gets us to the 18 grand. So where did we go over budget? Well, we actually went over budget in Southeast Asia because it is so cheap there. You end up living like a king and all those beers and buckets and meals out add up and then suddenly we were over budget. Australia ruined our budgets as well because we had a really crap exchange rate whilst we were there. Plus in the outback, it's super expensive. You're talking $5 for a can of Coke. It could be like $50 or $60 for a crate of beer, which is why all the backpackers in Australia drink nothing but goon. And then finally in the US, there's not much of a backpacking scene, the hostels are few and far between and quite expensive, so we're staying in motels, having to eat out, and that ended up the last bit of our budget as well. So that's it, that's how we got to the 22k. Now obviously this isn't the official figure of how much it costs to go travelling for 9 months, this is just how much our trip costs. There are way cheaper ways of doing it, for example in 2006, I did a working holiday in New Zealand, so all I did was save up a few grand beforehand, enough for a round the world ticket, travelling for two months, and then when I was in New Zealand I worked and travelled and kept myself afloat, and then saved up a bit extra to finish off the trip. And there's other things you can do like volunteering abroad, but really if you're stuck for ideas, either go and speak to a travel agent or Google's your friend. There's tons of great travel blogs out there with amazing tips on how to save for trips, how to budget for trips, where to go, what to do. But really my main message is, if you want to go traveling, obviously it's going to cost some money, but don't let money be the factor that stops you from going and having the best time of your life. And that's it. If you've got any more questions, just stick them in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you. Cheers.